Hi all, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia. We're building a cruising sailboat, um, sailing vessels to Patia. And regulars here will know that um, we launched her, so the main build is finished. We launched her uh, last August, no, late July, I think actually, late July. And then from August through to October, we went off conducting sea trials, a test in the boat, sailing the boat, living aboard. And learning what I needed to do to uh, to make her uh, viable as a, as a long term long term liverboard cruising sailboat, and now it's winter. Well, autumn arguably, but you know it's getting pretty chilly. Um, and now I'm back home in the workshop and making a start on the list of of bits that need doing to upgrade. Um, and this week is uh, to a large extent about sail covers. I didn't have any sail covers and uh, they're necessary to protect the sails from uh, from the weather, basically from UV and weather. And obviously with winter coming up, it was very important to me to get some sail covers made and get them on. So a lot of this is about sail covers, a few other bits coming up. Hope you enjoy. through there like that I believe through there and through there two three four five six yes looks hopeful If you like what we're doing here, um, you know, I say we're coming up for now another four or five months of boat building projects, building parts of the boat um, and fitting them on. We're going to haul out, there'll be the below waterline stuff coming up. So if you like what we're doing here, please hit that subscribe button. So we're going to go through is it one, two, three, no, six layers of cloth here. Yeah? Heavy duty cloth at that. Incredible. Pretty impressive, eh? So this is the, the cloth that I'm using. It's, uh, it's called Dockrel, 315 grams a square meter. Uh, fairly heavy duty, quite heavy duty. Waterproof, 100% waterproof. It's got some coating on the back. So far, the bits that I used that were on the boat uh, this summer haven't faded at all, so that's very good. Seems to be color, you know, stable. So I like it. I'm buying it from a, a Dutch awning tint website company. Uh, very good service. Great stuff. And this is the machine. Now this is the Singer Heavy Duty. Uh, what, 
I don't know which number it is. Four four one one. Singer four four one one. And uh, it's great, you know. <laughs> I'm no expert at sewing, let's not kid ourselves, but it does everything I need. It goes through you know, multiple layers of this fairly thick cloth. I say, at one point in the video, I've got six layers that I'm sewing through. It, it will sew through that quite happily. So I'm really pleased with it. And they're not particularly expensive. They're just over about 100 bucks, I think, I paid for this in that region. So, uh, yeah, very good for the sort of you know, amateur sewing that I'm doing. A meter and 50 centimeters is there. Look. 15 this way. That's where the, the halyard's going to go through. So, not the best stitching you've ever seen, but um, it's not my forte, let's be honest. I'm fairly sure it will work, which is what I'm really, what's important to me at least, to put it that way. Mm -hmm. Eyelets around here to tie it together with. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. So I bought this little box of stainless um, eyelets, grommets, and that came with this set of tools. So a hole punch, the right size, um, which I have to say worked very, very well. Cut through the cloth, lovely. And then this form that you lay underneath the grommet and, and this punch that you, you know, literally hit with a hammer. And uh, I found it best to lay that grommet on there up through the cloth the top ring on there and i found it best to hit it using a kind of a circular motion as i hit it and that then formed the grommet very very well and uh you know it's very low tech and hardly the best equipment in the world but it did a good job so i was quite pleased So, just arrived up at the boat. She's all looking very lovely. I brought the, the sail covers up, which I intend to fit. I need to buy some line. line. As soon as the chandler's open, they're just shut for lunch. I've got my new half litre syringe, in case I ever need to pump quantities of diesel out of the bilge again. I've got a new bottom glassing for the filter which is plastic and I hope it's going to fit I'm not sure 
I also thought, because I learned that these are very fragile, it's a spare top for the water filter, the raw water filter, plus the proper spanner, a tall thing for opening them. I've got uh, in this box here some tape that is going to be my new mast boot, or at least I'm going to try it. It's a lot cheaper than the proper sailboat mast boot tape, and uh, I hope it's going to work. I'll show you and report in due course. And this excitement, which is an orbital sander of the Bosch system, of the Bosch system that you know that I like. Um, no, it's still packed away. Let's get it out. Yeah, there it is. That's the, it's, uh, the five inch orbital sander. Yeah, looks very nice. Hopefully it's going to work. Right, look at that. So, so that's the excitement I've bought. Um, yeah, going to open up the engine room and have a look in there. Well, that seems to be okay. crack this lid opening it it's not cracked all the way through but I put a bit of Sikaflex on there just in case and it's worked fine but I've just got a new lid now so uh, we'll pop that one on oh, that seals on there okay yeah it's seal we don't need but you can tighten them up by hand but they get a bit tight to undo that's good Right, start right one more time and see what happens. Well, the mainsail cover isn't completely tied on yet because I'm short of lanyard material but uh, sadly the chandlers are shut today. The forward sail, sail cover is completely fitted and looks great. I'm really pleased with that. I'll keep the sun off of the sail. Come around the port side for you. Come out really well. Really well. Well, and that's it for this week. Um, we'll be pushing on, of course. Thank you for watching. As ever, a massive thank you to our supporters on Patreon or via PayPal. I try to put a, a extra video up on Patreon every couple of weeks, a little bit behind the scenes, other things that are going on. Um, so if you're interested, get over there and have a look. Um, and the last thing to mention, I guess, is that uh, you know, I do a bit of music and it's mainly, well, it's entirely a hobby, but I, I brought a single out uh, last week. It's called Bridges Burn. You've heard the music used in these videos and it's out and available on all good digital platforms, your Apple Music, Spotify, whatever, all those places. Why not be Bridges Burn? Good. See you next time. Bye. Direction 
Don't know to where I've been Encouraged by my inhibitions Blinded by what I've seen I'm heading back to where I'm going Back to who knows where and when Through the monsters of my own worst daydreams On my way to their hand then Still I keep on moving 